Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Google Cloud Storage in GCP. I know I'm a bit late in continuing with the GCP video series but I was making videos on Azure DevOps but from here on I'll keep a mix and match for all the uh, cloud technologies in terms of GCP, Azure, AWS so that I can provide you guys with a lot of mixed and new content in terms of all the topics revolving around cloud computing. So to proceed with, let me first log on to the Google Cloud Console and take it from there. Okay, I am into the Google Cloud Console and you would see uh, you should be in your project and uh, you should be in your, like if you go to home here, and if you guys remember that uh, I have this project, I am inside this project. You can select it from here as well. And then you would click on this icon and you would see these options. We have covered IAM, we have covered uh, Compute. I covered few videos regarding the uh, networks as well. I'll see if there would be any new entries in terms of IAM networks or Compute like we have network services so I'll, I'll try to make videos on all of these things uh, gradually but uh, from today we're going to look at the storage i'll make videos on this as well but to start with let's start with storage okay so when you go here you see the first option is to create the buckets this is the already created buckets that i have so you this buckets term would be uh, you know really sound familiar with the AWS buckets as well. So here in, in AWS we call it S3 simple storage service in Google Cloud Console we see it to have the uh, cloud buckets. So this is the bucket details you can upload files here you can upload uh, folders here and you know create a folder inside it. It's just like using the Google Drive. So if you could go back to the buckets option here and you click on create a bucket like test bucket lab you can give it any name you click on continue it says choose where to store your data highly available across largest area highly available and low latency across two regions a region so I'm going to select with multi-region here as well so location is multiple regions in United States or you can go with uh, Asia Pacific. Let's say I'm going to go with Asia Pacific here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to select continue. It says uh, choose the default storage class for your data. A storage class sets cost for storage, retrieval, and operation. So uh, lower the class of your storage, lower the cost, and if you would go for the higher storage you would pay accordingly so is it best for short term storage and frequently accessed data so this would be data that you need very frequently like your backups and i'm sorry like you have some shared access that you want to access quite frequently near line best for backup and data access less than once a month cold line is the best for disaster recovery and data accessed less than once a quarter and archival would be to have the long term data that data that you don't need you only need for once in a year let's say i'm going to go with standard here access control uh, you want to have the fine grained uh, specified access to individual objects by using object level permissions or defining the ACLs like you define on your uh, windows files and folder uniform ensure uniform access to all objects in the bucket by using only bucket level permissions like iam Let's go with fine grained advanced settings. How would you, you know, secure it? Google managed key. Let's go with this default. I'm won't, I don't want to add a label. I don't want to set a retention policy here. Right? Or if you would have a look at it, you can click on create. It has created a bucket with the name of test bucket lab. And now if you want to overview the date is here multi region this is my link url like you give the url to your colleagues to access the google drive here and i can give the 
uh, URL for my specific bucket and then I would have the permission set on it to access it right this will open because I'm using the same browser right here it is so if you would come here this is the link for gsutil we'll cover what gsutil is in the coming lectures so this is the permission this bucket uses fine-grained access control allowing you to specify access to individual objects to control access uniformly at the bucket level switch to uniform access level you can uh, so if you write in it's like an add members here so you will add a member here with the name and then you would select a role like what role you want to give that user and you can remove it here as well so this is the defined roles here and if you want to change it like you want to change it to uniform uniform access control so if you have added access on here that will be lost i did not do it so this is the bucket lock you can save on storage caused by adding a life cycle rule to delete objects after the duration of the current retention policy so if i have this uh, data in the, i'm using a standard format i can enable a life cycle rule so we'll cover these things in the future uh, you know, videos i just wanted to show you how these uh, you know bucket things going on in the uh, google cloud platform as well so if you would click on here you can upload files okay same file and if you want to create a folder inside this bucket so i'm going to do test bucket lab folder one right i'm going to have a folder inside the bucket i can upload data inside this folder as well i want to edit the bucket i can add it like white and uh, and if i go to my the buckets i want to delete a bucket you know select it click on delete and confirm deletion by typing the bucket name below you know just type in the name and click on confirm and the bucket would be deleted so this is what i wanted to cover in terms of starting a storage series on gcp uh, we'll work on uh, some more topics related to gcp storage and then would proceed to other ones as well so i hope you uh, i hope this will be useful to you if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day